about throwing herself at more of the same gym routines and instead in finding some wise heads like Rudy Olofsa and his brother Andre to channel all Jeannie's efforts and just as important, make it fun. This is how I start my training and I've got to tell you, it's my favorite machine. It's exactly the one that Madonna uses. Best part of it is that it's got these lamb wool cuffs. All right, guys. Okay, let's get you in there. Let's go. He's Captain Payne. <laughs> Fittingly, this is known as the trapeze. And you have to ask yourself, have you ever seen an out-of-shape acrobat? In a lot of upper body strength to do this exercise, uh, what it does is it focuses on the articulation of the spine, which also contributes to the lengthening of the posture, which makes a person feel so much better. This is such a good release for your back. And after holding yourself up like this, I now understand why Madonna has such good arms. Weights can bulk you up, but here, muscles are lengthened for a slimmer, toned look. Jenny would need amazing upper body strength in order to pull herself up. She would use her biceps. Very important is that also she has to have strong core or let's say deep abdominal um, muscles in order to hold herself up in the correct posture. That is really a tough workout, but the great thing about it is that you're using your own body and your own muscles as its own resistance, so you can really feel it turning. But we're not done yet. The reformer machine sounds like something from the Spanish Inquisition, but it works far less painfully, stretching the lower back, working deep abdominals, legs and inner thighs. But what about shedding Ks? Firstly, I think nutrition is also key. I mean, it's all, it's all about calorie expenditure and running at a calorie deficit every day. If you're eating 10,000 calories and you, uh, you're only burning 5,000, you've got an additional 5,000 that you have to, that will be stored, just in a nutshell. And obviously exercising at least four times a week. In today's world, we tend to sit too much. We sit on, at the desk and then we get back into the car, we sit, we go home, we sit in front of the TV. Just find a way of moving the body every day. And the big thing, sugar, not too much sugar. It takes a lot of perseverance and you have to work very hard. Among Rudy's fun routines is one Andre insists is also a thorough discipline. So, boxing is actually a bit butch, and it's usually something for guys. Why is it beneficial for women as well? You must see it more like dance related. It's very important to have agility, so although the arms are actually making the contact, you actually have to move in one full kinetic chain from the leg. So it's really like ballet. Fantastic for improving your fitness, weight loss, fat burning and great for core stability and conditioning the arms and conditioning the legs. I train with Rudy five times a week. At least once a week we measure that the bum has lifted by a centimeter. And trust me, there's only one thing that guarantees that lift. Think of those who cut you off in the traffic this morning and go for it. Has it lifted? Has it lifted? Rudy, you're not working hard enough. For long-term motivation, find a pro with personality who also makes fitness a laugh. Has it lifted now? Push-ups, skipping, sit-ups and shadow boxing boost the heart rate further and make you feel like Rocky. How can you put a price on that? Just go out there and have life fun, light-hearted. I know gym can be boring, but, you know, change yeah. the workouts and go for walks in the mountains. You know, we've got to live in a beautiful country. Use it. Rudy's educated hands use shiatsu and acupressure to stretch out her tired muscles and stimulate her energy system. It's quite a rigorous workout. We normally do tone down the workout um, with Tai Chi or meditation. It's a nice way just to, to finish off a workout. Just closes it off very nicely in a very nice, calm and collected way. So what is the secret to losing weight and getting an optimal body? I'd say the triple threat that we basically took you through today, um, which is the remedial side, which is covered by the Pilates. We've got the boxing, which does the cardiovascular and the toning and frees the spine up, and then finishing off with uh, Tai Chi or um, Shiatsu. Five times a week, every day. So it doesn't just come, it's, it's a result of hard, conscientious work. Bye. <laughs> See you tomorrow. And every other day this week, Secrets Out, there's no quick fixes, only dedication. Good luck. <laughs>